Hey guys, hello beautiful souls. How is everyone doing? How are you guys? I hope everyone is feeling safe. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. I have a few things that uh, I just want to share really quickly, get to the introduction and uh, move along and get to this healing general collective reading. Um, first off, okay, I just have to share something that happened to me today driving. Um, I look down, I see this huge ass cricket on my lap. First, I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm not the biggest insect bug fan. Um, I have come a long way when, when it comes to the insects uh, because they do have significant uh, meanings and sometimes they bring messages. Um, so, you know, my I'm looking at it and I'm just thinking, just don't move. I, I know I want to get to get to the side. I don't want to panic. I'm trying not to panic. This thing ends up crawling down close to my leg. I go in full panic mode, end up driving on the other side of the road with cars coming head on to me, swerving out the way. I almost killed myself, almost killed other people. I think the most high Christ, I think my angels, my ancestors, whoever was taking over that wheel, got me back on the right side of the road. I pulled over, but I was trying to swipe uh, that cricket off of me. Um, so I'm okay. I think there was a vehicle that stayed parked. Maybe they wanted to see how long I sat over there to see if if I needed assistance or something. Um, so um, my biggest lesson, really, I should have pulled over and um, tried to take care of the situation because a second with your eyes off the road could be damaging. And that really would have been a crazy, dumbass way to die. I looked up what the cricket is and the spiritual meaning. If maybe you've had a bug land on you or a cricket and you're, you're starting to see more insects, uh, it's always a synchronicity um, when you are awakening and uh, different, uh, whether it's numbers, whether it's songs, whether, you know, uh, birds, animals, different things come to you, your dreams and your waking life. So the cricket was for good health, um, good luck prosperity and wealth, enlightenment in the spiritual realm. So I shade to that. Amen. Amen. I'm glad I'm okay. Um, the other thing you guys may notice that my name on my channel has changed. There's a story behind that. Um, I don't want to get into a uh, long winded. I want to, I want to get to the reading, but, um, the, the channel name has changed. Um, and that was due to my spirit guides woke me up. It was either, it was anywhere between three and even maybe three, three, three. So if, uh, three, 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 13, three, 30 is significant. You've been seeing that look up what those angels numbers are. Um, let me see what else. Um, when I woke up, that's literally what I heard the Empress healer. Um, I kind of brushed it off for a few days and was just like, no, you know, I like my cute name, Empress B Goddess. So my name is Bella or people call me B or call me Belle. Um, so I'm an empress. I'm a goddess. So I was like, you know, why not? I got my LLC. Um, but that was my ego. And, you know, it kind of was nagging on me. And my spirit guides was like, no, it's not about you. You know, I'm a Taurus. So, well, my son. My, my rising is cancer and my moon is Aries. But, um, so that bull side of me that, that, you know, I'm working on that ego. We all working on our ego. Okay. Right. Um, was like, no, it's not about you. Your path is of healing. I've always been a healer since very, very young. Um, this is new. I'm actually just bringing it to this platform. This is not anything overnight. This is 15 years of awakening, of healing, of self-healing, of uh, self-love, um, reprogramming, reconditioning, and becoming the woman, becoming the empress, the goddess that I am. It's not just um, a name. A lot of 
you know, people are kind of slapping these names on them. You know, we have these avatar avatar names. And if, if a certain name is what you are called to name yourself, so be it. You can have many AKAs, you know, to each his own. We all have free will. So um, going forward, it is a new channel. Um, I don't have a huge subscribe uh, list yet. Thank you guys for the ones that are here, for the day ones that we are creating and building this channel together, you know. So I have my goal um, to see how far my channel grows um, within a year. You know, I am shooting for 10,000 subscribers. You know, nothing happens overnight. When you're manifesting and you're planting that seed, you have to just keep doing the work, um, keep putting the energy out, and I will get the results. But my path is of service, of healing, of self-healing, self-love, generational healing. So with that, I'm going to incorporate that type of reading today, what healing are you experiencing at this time or what healing do you need Do you need at this time? And this could be your person who you're dealing with. You could flip the roles. This could be um, siblings. This could be, uh, you know, we have mommy, daddy issues. This could be generational. This could be past life healing as well. Um, and that has been part of my journey, um, going into my Akashic records and getting access to my past life. Um, some of you guys may be experiencing that also where you're dreaming of your past life. You may also be guided to do a past life regression with someone. Um, it is unbelievable. It is it, it, not unbelievable, but it's just a phenomenal, um, experience to uh, do a regression with somebody. I don't do regressions, but you know, if you seek out and you do a, a past life regression with someone, it kind of um, helps you during your awakening. You know, sometimes when you find out the different things that happened in your past life and you brought it over here into this past life, finding out you have family members who are karmics, um, you know, finding out why, even if it's not past life, even if the healing in this life, you 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 know, you, once you start opening that healing and you start finding out, you know, tr what trauma bonding is, you know, you keep attracting the same kind of friends that hurt you or you keep tr attracting the same kind of mate that hurt you, um, you know, you, you do uh, certain kind of jobs that, that you know you just don't love. But you know you deserve better, right? So self-healing, um, I feel like I'm babbling. But so really quickly, you know, I like to say yesterday is gone. You want to get rid of that energy. Um, why hold on to something that, that uh, no longer serves you? Tomorrow is unknown and it is definitely not promised. You are here right now. You are here right now. This is a present be in the flow like water. You know, just be in the moment. Even if that moment sucks, be in that moment, but get up out of that moment because once five seconds go by, it's gone, right? All right, so it's a gift. It's such beautiful gratitude to just give thanks, give thanks, give thanks to the most high, give thanks to who you pray to, all right? And um, so I want to just clear some energy really quick since we're doing the healing. Day. So I want to call in Holy Spirit. I want to call in the Divine Mother, the, the Divine Father. I want to call in the Most High Christ. I want to call in Archangel Michael to protect me. I want to call in the angels and uh, uh, the most infinite source of love and light, of, of unconditional love that is of its highest frequency to protect me at this time and to protect you, the viewer, at this time and those that are around you, those that you love. Um, may we stay in the frequency, even if we are having uh, 
not so much of a good day. We are still finding um, the best energy that we can find within ourselves, within our purpose, within our lives, that we are here, we are alive. Um, I want to call in my ancestors, and we want to get right to this tarot that I bring clarity, clarity to um, the viewers that is watching. May this resonate. If, if it doesn't resonate, this reading is timeless. You can always come back to this reading. There will be a message. There may be a message there for you or, um, you know, somebody that you're dealing with, some similarities, just some, some things, um, some warnings, some things that you can take some notes down. You are more than welcome. And um, well, let's get right to it and let's um, just tap into this tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, beloved. Thank you, spirit. That was that was really long. Thank you guys for being here. Listen, this one will really be long. No, I'm really serious. No, okay. Pause this video. I should have probably said that at the beginning. My bad. Get something to drink. Water, tea, coffee, energy, energy drink, smoothie. Get a tequila shot. Have one for me. Give some libations. For our ancestors, get a snack, get comfortable. Listen, let's do what it do. And you know what? Let's get on this healing train together, right? Because when when one heals, all heals, right? We could be a beacon for each other. When I heal, my children heal. And their children heal. My, my, uh, my parents heal. Their bloodlines uh, heal on my mother's side, my father's side. So generational um energies are healing and it's almost like a ping pong around the world we all light up when we raise that frequency right so let's glow let's you know let's get into this healing healing is not as glamorous the spirituality world is not glamorous like they you know like some see you may see the results after but it is a lot of purging especially when you're opening the heart chakra and when you are, uh, well, you want to start with the root chakra. <laughs> you want to start with the root of where the issue is and where the healing needs to begin, right? You guys are getting hot watching me with this scarf on. I'm not really that hot. I mean, I, I will get heated just because I am channeling and just because I am doing my divination. But this scarf is very angelic. It has a lot of um, energy. It is actually the um, the scarf that I'm wearing in my profile pic, if, if you notice that. Um, so because we're doing healing and this is my first video with this new uh, change of, well, the, the name change of the video. I was guided to wear my my white angelic scarf. All right, so I'm just trying to get a couple more cards. I mean, if it's gonna keep going in my mouth, I might take it off. All right. I'm gonna take all of those that came out. Thank you, Spirit. The bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords. So, all right, so we're doing what healing is being done at this time or what healing do we need to do or what healing and this could be universal this is a overall a overall healing okay so we're gonna we're gonna just take that um let me turn that over with the page of swords so you know we are in the age of aquarius so we are in the age that this really isn't you know, ignorant isn't bliss anymore. You know, there's Google, there's books, there's Amazon, there's ways to research things. There's um, audio. If, if you're somebody that doesn't really want to sit down and listen to certain books that have to do with healing and motivation, uh, things to change a certain way of thinking um there's there's audio on or even free pdf on 
you know, getting information about mental illness. So there's many, many, many things with self-healing, self-empowerment. And um, I'm just going to turn these over and we're going to, I'm going to read what is being healed right now. You know, the, of course, the one that stands out the most to me. I don't know if you guys probably can't see the cards laying down, but I'll pick them up. Is the tower. Okay? So with the tower is a lot of calm. A lot of karma is happening for individuals, especially those who are trying to break generational curses. You know, trying to really get some answers whether it's trying to get some answers from your parents about, you know, your bloodline, you have questions that you've never asked before, or, um, you know, just trying to get out of a certain type of religion, you know, you're, you're wanting answers from the pastor and, you know, you're not really finding the correct answers that you want. You are um, someone who is, you know, willing to learn um, you are a student that is ready for the teacher, but with the tower could be something very shocking, something, something exposed, something very surprised, whether you find an epiphany that happened or you are awakening where you're allowing something in your subconscious come to the conscious where this could have been some kind of trauma that you've uh, locked away in that box and you threw the key away and you just, you never thought about it again, but this is something that has affected you from childhood to now. You know, when, when back to saying that ignorance, ignorance is bliss, right? When you are um, conditioned or you're programmed and you're not really uh, awakened, you know, you, you just, you're just walking around aimlessly and, you know, some individuals, you know, they got this victim mentality, like, you know, well, if my parents sent me to college or, you know, if I didn't have kids at an early age, or if I didn't grow up in the projects or, you know, whatever the case is, it's that victim mentality. If, you know, if I had a father at home, if I had a mother at home, my life would be like this, this, that, and the third, okay? You know the excuses that we all do. We all have done that at uh, some point or another. But when that when it's time for the healing, and I'm glad that this tower came out because when you start your healing, the first thing that has to happen, and we call it shadow work. You know, people want to take that word shadow work like you're doing some kind of black magic or something. I don't I don't know where people are like so afraid of anything uh, with the word dark or anything afraid with the word black in front of it. It's it's strange. But I'm going to speak to my melanated people. You call yourself black, right? But then you're scared of anything called dark or anything called black is that's going to be a whole nother video. Okay, but with the dark night of the soul, right? That means you are tapping in to parts of yourself that you do not want to look at. It's not pretty. It is the, the lower parts of you. It's the ego. It's the part of you that um, whether you are a manip manipulative person, whether you are a liar, whether you are... Um, a cheater, deceitful, whatever these things are that we're all human beings, we all exhibited all of these things, okay? All right? I, I'm still trying to find one person that's perfect, okay? No one. So, with this towel coming out, and you're guided to really wanting to better yourself. You're really wanting to transform who you are and as you're ready to do the work, when you start activating that root chakra, things are going to come up and things are going to be exposed to you that it is going to be, ang ang um, there's a word I want to say and I'm not even going to pronounce it right. It is going to bring um, 
a lot of intense emotion up and it, it, it does have those same um, attributes of, of what grief is. So you can look up the seven things of grief. I think it's either five or it's seven. So you are going to go through those different types of emotions. Um, and, you know, to those that are experiencing this or those that are experiencing your karma, especially if it's somebody that has done something to you, right? Somebody that has hurt you, somebody that has harmed you in any type of way, just know in this age of Aquarius, people are getting their karma. Evil is getting their karma like no tomorrow at all. So I'm really happy that this, this tower, this tower came out. If I get any other, if I pick up anything else from this, the strongest thing that I am picking up is to do that shadow work, to really get inside and do that inner work, that, that inner trauma, um, and trauma comes in all forms. Everybody's situation, everybody's upbringing is very different. Some is so severe that at two years old, they was being burnt with cigarettes because they had a crackhead or a heroin mother, father, and they was a prostitute. And then you have some that, you know, their trauma is at two years old, their cat died. Muffin. Might have been their name. I heard Muffin. I don't know. It could have been a it could have been a dog. It could have been a fish. That could be somebody's trauma. At two years old, looking at it now, we understand, right? But if you're two years old and this is a pet that's been in your house and then it dies, you have experienced death at an early age, right? So you know you can never judge someone when um, they're trying to heal and what their healing is. I'm also hearing for this, um, if someone is really being guided to get hypnotized, because sometimes things are so stored away within within our own psyche, we, we you know we really really push that thing deep deep down in there and said you know what i'm never looking at that again i don't want to hear it i don't want to see it none of it it matter of fact you may not even know it exists that's how deep down and buried that is but to get things unblocked you have to get through this part right here this part right here okay so someone may want to get hypnotized you know, um, you really want to find out, you know, somebody that's certified that, that does it, really do your research um, and really tap into that. I'm also hearing if somebody is um, thinking about going on like one of those spiritual ret retreats and doing like the ayahuasca or, you know, doing the shrooms with, with a shaman, that definitely will bring those traumas up if you are looking to do that in that holistic type of way. All right. I think I spent a lot of time on that. The wheel of fortune, but the healing that's happening with this is past life. So, and I did mention that, that earlier I was channeling that people are experiencing, um, with your dreams. <clears throat> when, when you're having your dreams, you are interacting with individuals that in your waking, you've never seen these individuals before. You've never, they're not actors. They're not uh, entertainers. You, you've you just never come across these people. Sometimes, okay, it could be, you know, you might be at the grocery store and just pass somebody and, uh, you know, you need to get a can or somebody just like, can you get that can for me off the shelf or vice versa? And it's just that fast of a um, contact. And that <clears throat> months later, you may dream of, of that person. Everything has a meaning. There, there is no such thing as coincidences. But in the, in the dreams where this person really feels like a loved one, this person feels like a child, a husband, a wife, or a family member, you're actually dreaming of a past life love, a loved one. Um, so this could be even more prominent right now. And, you know, you're really wanting to dive deeper in into this. 
you know, write, write your dreams down. I always, always say journal what your dreams are. And then, you know, like a month, give it like a month. Excuse me. That throat chakra. Give it like a month and then go back and reread what you wrote. Okay? So that's the Wheel of Fortune. Um, so the healing that is happening with right now is uh, a lot of times people who that are awakening or have awakened who have been on a spiritual journey for 10, 20, 30 years and have did a lot of healing with you know, um, individuals in this realm, then th that's when they're like, okay, I've, I've mastered this, you know, to a degree because we're always here. We'll always heal and continue to heal to the point that we leave this realm and, um, transcend once we pass away. But, um, so for those that have done a lot of mastering with the healing, on this realm with loved ones um, in, in situations, in your own situ situations, your inner child, you feel you really have that inner standing, overstanding, right? That's when you will start diving into your Akashic records and you will start wanting uh, to heal things from the past life, okay? Very spiritual, the high priestess. So I really feel like I'm speaking to very intuitive, spiritual people. Even if, when I say spiritual, that it, it does, spiritual doesn't have a look. You know, it, it shouldn't be put in a box. Like, um, it's not a religion. You know, I don't worship anything at all. I'm going to worship my higher self. I'm going to worship my God self, right? Um, but with the high priestess, you know, this is, again, another energy. It's very mysterious, very intuitive, very psychic. So this is very, this is really going in and tapping into who you are and tapping into what your abilities are, what your superpowers are, what your gifts are, but also knowing who your shadows are, you know, sometimes we can call, we can call our shadows demons. People are very afraid of that word. You can look up the etymology of what a demon means. That means genius. Okay. So we're very conditioned with, um, a lot of people are con conditioned with the church. A lot of people are conditioned with the upbringing, uh, upbringing of these words and these things that were taught to us. Um, Somebody else gave us their narrative and we rocked with it, right? So I'm not going to really say, I don't want to offend anybody and say your shadows are demons. I don't mind calling minds what, what it is. My my shadows, my demons, you know, because you, listen, you could get straight up heated. Somebody messes with one of my kids. Guess what the F I'm going to turn into? I'm going to turn into a goddamn demon. I don't know about you. I'm not going to turn into no love and light and let's hold hands and la, 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 ring around the rosy. That ain't going to happen. So we all know there's a duality as above. So below, right? Dark, there's light. This is the high priestess, okay? You got your dark side and you got your light side. What needs to happen is that needs to be balanced, Okay, nothing on a scale should be outweighing the other one. And just like my yacht, you know, when we pass, our heart is weighed and should be as light as a feather. Okay, so I'm really feeling a strong, powerful energy for those that will be tapping into this frequency and tapping into this video at this time. So then we have the Ace of Swords. So with the Ace of Swords, this is honesty and this is truth. This is law and this is order, right? So this is an energy of where what is being healed is, I don't know if that's showing up in that light. I'm going to assume that y'all know what the Ace of Swords look like, okay? Um, <clears throat> but what is being healed right now is... Through communication, 
you're you're speaking your truth right now whether somebody else likes it or not you have been somebody who will be quiet doesn't want to um rock the boat don't want to hurt nobody's feelings you are doing a healing that your throat chakra is all the way open you are defending yourself you are asking questions you are speaking nothing but pure truth and you are demanding that that is done back to you people that will lie to you people that will gaslight you and you just even if you knew they was you know bullshit and you just like oh, all right all right you let it go this is not this energy right here is is not happening no more no you calling people out and you making people accountable for what they are saying that they're going to do or who they say and that they are. You're not really, you're not playing that anymore with individuals. Also with this ace of swords, there's a truth that's coming out of something that happened in your early years that you forgot about. Or that you might have you might have brought this information up. I'm hearing, and this is general. Again, this may or may not resonate, but this needs to be delivered. Okay, if there was something that was brought up as a child, or there was a question as, as a child, or something happened to individuals as a child, and when they went to their mother or their father, preferably their mother, and 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 you spoke your truth on something that happened to you whether somebody took advantage of you some something happened that was not appropriate you was told to be quiet you was told no that no that didn't happen or you better shut the f up this is what's happening now it's and you know what when it comes to healing even if it's something that happened to us when we were younger you know, some people have this um, way of thinking, well, that happened so long ago, you know, especially with certain races, okay? I'm going to speak about mine, race, because we do have that thing, shut the F up, you better uh, mind your business, or you better not share that with XYZ, because the melanated race was not going to no therapy. That That's just something... We wasn't doing, and that needs to be, there needs to be, you know how it's all those challenges that everybody does? How about we do a challenge and we all go see a therapist? I know what therapy has done for me. I would not be the empress goddess that I am right now had I not went to therapy, okay? So I'm a big advocate of therapy, but what is happening with this ace of swords is somebody is standing up for themselves and going back. If, if you're going back to a predator, if this person is alive and you're going back to this predator and you standing up to them and you letting them know, I remember what you did to me when I was younger. Whether you get an apology, whether they, you know, they act like they, they don't remember or, you know, even with siblings, we could be living under the same roof each sibling is going to have a different perspective of what life was growing up, right? Okay, so with the healing that's being done right now, and I want to say for each one of these, it, it's still, I'm feeling like it, this is not just one or two people. I'm feeling like this is an overall thing that is happening on a grand scale, okay? So truth. People are demanding the truth. People are speaking their truth. People are healing by needing to get the truth so they can proceed on and have certain types of closure. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, very fiery energy. What I'm hearing with this is what's being healed right now is individuals at a very uh, very young age being an f boy or being an f girl being told you know it's the pimp life or you know honey you know you want to get some 
some nice sneakers or get your nails done or get your hair done. You know, you got to get with that. You got to get with that drug dealer or you got to get with that player or you got to get with that older man. What's being healed right now is living that fast life, living that street life. Or even if it wasn't, you know, a street life, it was living uh, where you had to be or, or you wanted to be grown, you know, you wanted to be grown, you wanted that attention, and wherever you saw that attention coming from, you know, you emulated that. So, you know, if you was a young girl and you developed at an early age, you know, you, you learned very quickly switching your butt and poking your chest out got you attention, but it got you the wrong type of attention, right? Right? Because you were still a baby. And even for and even for the guys, you know, if you was a young guy and you had the 15, 16 year old, 17 year old babysitter and, you know, the babysitter had her way or she touched or molested you, it was not spoken of that that's what was happening to these young boys at an early age. You know, it was... You know, it may, may not have been a, a dap back then. Maybe may the high five. Oh, you go play a player. So he experienced that at, at a very young age that that's what his talent was or that's what made him special, you know, because a babysitter or a, a girl in the neighborhood, you know, or even an older a woman. It could, have, it could have been an aunt. It could have been... You know, when the boys are molested at an early age, that was not spoken about. Even if it happened with a man to a boy. And it's still something that's not spoken about. But when we start calling these young kings, you know, player, you know, and, and they calling they call them women all types of hoes and all types of bees, you know, at an early age, they was being congratulated for that. But now as an adult, it, it has brought blockages because now you don't have a healthy relationship, whether you're a man or a woman with that energy, you don't have a healthy relationship because now what you attract is just that. You attract people that just want you physically. It's that in and out uh, situation. Now you are healing this because you want a fruitful abundant marriage or relationships with individuals you're learning to have boundaries with your body and this is what's being healed at this time and and, and I'm even going to clarify that matching it with the page of wands you know even if this is where it's your children you know your teenage boy or your teenage girl, you know, you're, you're starting to see, you know, if they're getting wild, they're getting a little out of control, you know, it's time to pull them in and, you know, let these children know at an early age that they are more than their private parts, okay? They have beautiful brains, they have beautiful hearts, you know, develop what is special about them. Letting them see what their talents are at a at an early age, you know, without without degrading them, without the mother daughter competition, because now the young girl, you know, she's very, you know, she's very fruitful. <laughs> everything is up, everything is plump. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's sad if it's a mother daughter relationship and the mother is jealous and trying to compete with her own daughter. And then if there's, you know, the father's not in the home and she got a man in the home and, you know, now it's like, well, bitch, you got to get out because, you know, my man looking at you now. This is a, that's a generational, that's a, that, that's a generational thing right there. That is um, severe self-hate severe at its finest because that is your seed that is your child it is our responsibility to protect these children and let them know that they're special they don't need to be 
you know, um, where where you trying to make them like they're perfect? No, I'm I'm not I'm not saying that. But they're special in their own rights of who they are. So that's what's being healed with uh, those wand energy, that fire energy. What's being healed with this four of wands is the twin flames. You know, the divine feminines are usually the ones that awaken first. Their divine masculines are in their ego, especially if they are severely in their ego. Um, I really don't like saying that they're narcissistic. Um, some of them do have some tendencies. At some point, I think we all have in, in some sprinkle sort of way type of thing. Um, but in this new golden age that, that we are in, the divine masculines, they are the ones who are aligning those. They are the ones that are awakening and they are realizing what this divine union is. Um, as far as like the twin flame unions, the divine feminines that are on their journeys, they are no longer um, the chaser. They have come into full unconditional love with themselves and that ultimately is what the union is. That is what the what the journey is. So even with all the pain, even with all the triggers that, that are happening, the divine feminines are really becoming very prosperous. They are really coming into alignment with what their path is. And they are balancing out their own divine feminine and divine masculine. Because we, we both, we all have that both as attributes. I'll say it again. I always say it as as above, so below. This is a two-dimensional realm, okay? So beautiful with the twin flames. Um, some like to say it's the 144, 144 chosen ones. Some don't want to believe that. That's fine. Even, you know, if this is resonates as far as even if you are not a twin flame, it is still a union about coming into your divinity with both aspects of yourself, okay? And I think the last one that we have for the tarot is the Empress, all right? So, I mean, there's there's no better way to finish up what the healing is, even as this is the divine um, feminine, it's all just energy, so I also take this as the emperor also that with all when you start with the tower and it's really like gutting out you know a really disgusting icky um uh gutter or like if a tree was rotten right you would have to dig out from the root of that tree to get that to replant the tree, right, with fresh, healthy soil for that tree to to bloom and to have all its fruits to be ripe, okay? And that's what happens when you do that healing. You become the person, you know, each day you want to become better than who you was yesterday. You want to become better than who you was last year, who you was five years ago. You know, when people had this thing at one point, it was like, well, keep it real. Oh, you changed, you changed. <clears throat> that was a problem. Was that a spell? Somebody let me know down in the comments that you wasn't supposed to change. So I, I was supposed to be the same way that I was at 19. Do you think millionaires and do you think billionaires, do you think they... Do you think they are the same person that they was be before they become they before they became wealthy? I don't think so. Um, so no pentacles came out, um, which I was really hoping that they did, but they didn't come out. Um, but if I could just touch because I am resonating on the pentacles. I don't know why I was feeling, and even with the empress, the, this this is the embodiment 
of currency. We are the energy of currency. Money wouldn't be anything without us because if we all put our focus on this, then this would be money, right? All right, so but just with that energy that I'm feeling with the Ace of Pentacles, there's the healing that needs or that is being done with that is the relationship with money, not having um, resentment against money, not being afraid of money, getting that concept out of your mind that, um, oh God, how do they say that? Money is the, the root of all evil. <laughs> you know what? Whoever came up with that didn't want us to have money. Because I bet you the one that came up with that is the elite. And it is the 1% and is, it is the ones with all the money. Now, it could be evil if it's being used in an evil way. And that's the same thing with a, with, a, with a firearm. A firearm is to protect you, right? The firearm is not killing you unless a person is behind that firearm and pulls the trigger, right? So it's the same thing with currency. It's what we put our awareness to. What you put your awareness to is what you're going to receive back, okay? So if you're mental, if you're programmed, and if you're conditioned that money is the root of all evil, you ain't never going to have no money. So just go live in a mountain or a cave somewhere where you don't need no money because I don't know where you're going to go on this earth where you don't need any money. It is, it is also a balance that you should have. Um, if somebody did want to do some homework, right? you did want to do some homework, write down your first memories of your interaction or relationship with money. Did you experience seeing mom and dad fighting over what didn't get paid or how it got paid? What was your experience with, with, with money before you actually had to deal with money? Because that is a big key to manifesting money, okay? All right, so... Just writing down and, and just maybe do five. If you could do 10, you know, do 10. But, you know, if you could do five, what is your relationship with money? Do you uh, look at rich people or do you look at people with money and kind of just say, you know, why them and, and not me? So you got to find where where there's any resentment. If you lost large sums of money and now you just where you a frugal and you just want to hold on to this money and you know oh I never want to lose money again the universe can feel that frequency you not you ain't got to worry about losing no money you listen you can save all of that money not live your life pass away tomorrow and then what what how did how did how did that frequency help you or the other way around where you're just so selfish with money. You don't want to share your money. You don't want to give your money to charity. Listen, when we when we release and we help others, it is given back to us tenfold. Even when we lose money, you may lose. You listen. I've I've found money. I've lost money. If I lose money, I'm like, you know what? I just pray that went into the hands of somebody that really needed it. They needed gas to get somewhere. They needed to get some pampers for their baby. They needed to get some food. And, and if not, and they just found it and, and they got to blow that and just go celebrate and have a good time, that's the frequency and that's my mental of um, how I'm going to deal with that situation. I'm just going to pull out one um, oracle card from the sacral travelers and just see what healing because it's traveling you know where healing is like traveling it is your own personal journey it's not something <clears throat> excuse me it's not something you have to explain to other people people are not going to understand you you may be the black sheep of your family you may be coming in out of an energy where you just don't care what others think no more. You're more concerned with your optimal health. You're more concerned with your uh, mental awareness. You know, and, and those that have mental illness, it's okay. It's not anything to be ashamed of. If you need to go get medicine, if you need to go get di diagnosed, if these are things that you can do to change 
and break the chain in your family bloodline for your nieces and for your nephews, then go ahead and do it. Okay, so two want to come out. And you know what? It's so... This card comes out a lot for me, even when I do my own personal readings. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. So there is a heart chakra awakening that is happening across the world. Our hearts are opening more than ever. You know, do to others as you want done to you. I mean, it, it doesn't get any more simple than that to have some pure kindness and pure compassion. I'm not saying be naive. I'm not saying be gullible. I'm not saying just let people walk over you. And then we have infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. And that's what's gonna that's what is going to happen once you start surrendering and being obedient to your higher self, being obedient to the process of healing, feeling what those emotions are, forgiving those that have done you harm and just forgive yourself. It takes so much weight off of your shoulders, off of your back. When that healing um, and those doors just start opening, I mean, the glow. I mean, can we see the glow? Can we? I see the glow. You got the glow? I'm feeling the glow from... From the viewer that is watching, I love you, I love you, I love you, and I, I love this energy, and I love that we are out of the age of Pisces, no no offense to Pisces, but the age of Pisces was that uh, dogmat energy, that was that energy of religion, where, uh, and then it was that energy of <clears throat> titles, and everybody be put in the box, what do you do for a living, like as soon as you met somebody, what do you do for a living, not, well, how about, let me see what, what your heart is. Let me see, you know, what your aura is. Let me see what your energy is now. You know, you, now that's all you hear is like, you know, I don't know about that person's energy. I don't know about that person's frequency. People are releasing what no longer serves them. And that is on all types of scales. I, I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it is the person that brought you into this realm. Okay. If that person is not on a high frequency and is not in alignment with you, you need to, at all costs, protect your peace and your harmony. Okay, so I have like a little tree. I'm calling this the black box. I don't know, it's a little ghetto. I wrapped it, but I wrote some messages out. I, I, still, I don't know if we're going to get to some names. I'm going to try. Um, I can't really see the time from here. But so anyway... See if I can move some of these cards. So I'm just going to get some messages out of here. Um, see, I'm just... I'm not even going to close my eyes, but... We'll just take a few out and see what these messages say. I don't know how many I took. All right. First one, it says, Your business is about to take off. Be ready. They want a piece of your pie, so protect yourself. So you may have um, really start evolving and you really had to release certain individuals. People are coming back, family, friends. They want a piece of this pie. They want a piece of what you got going on. I don't know if we can see that. I'll put it up to the camera just really quickly. Now my nose is starting to itch. All right, spirit. You are on the right path. Don't give up. Abundance is coming your way. So this is overall. Oh, I got something on my teeth. This is overall what this energy has been speaking to us about. It's been speaking to you. Uh, you, you know, you may be hearing your intuition. Listen, trust your intuition. It's, uh, it's never going to steer you wrong. I mean, and if it's, if it's saying you wrong, or if you think it's saying you wrong, and it's not feel, making you feel good and comfortable, that is not, that is something else, okay? That really is something else. 
Oh, okay. We got two treats. Uh, I'll put that to the side really quickly. They wasn't rooting for you anyway. So some of you may feel bad. You may really not guilty. That That's a low frequency. You can feel guilty for a little while. But you may feel a little bit bad that you had to, you know, let some people go. They, they just wanted to do the same thing every day, all day, year after year. Nothing is changing. And, and you had some big dreams. And you're going after them, you know. And you really may feel bad or guilty that you let these people go. But guess what? Here's a confirmation. They wasn't rooting for you anyway. They was just going to hold you back. There's certain individuals that will hold us back because they are afraid. They are afraid to travel. They are afraid to uh, step out of their, uh, damn near, their block, their state, their community. They are afraid to um, meet different coaches. They are afraid to study other religions. Just because you are studying something doesn't mean that you're practicing it. What's wrong with wanting to be worldly and, and wanting to know that what, what is this beautiful planet for, for us to not explore it, all right? I know this is a long video. Thank you guys. If you, if you guys are still here and you guys are still enjoying yourself, please like, subscribe, and share. We can grow this channel um, together. They only marry them for a green card and they are getting caught. So there's some towers. There's some towers that are happening. And with that tower is going to be some harsh, harsh reality truths. That is going to be one of those things that you, you, you can't be hush, hush about it. Okay. So individuals that are out here. With the even if it's not a green card, these people are out here, you know that that. Okay, so in America we don't do the um, arranged marriage, right? The, the, that is something for other countries. Even for those countries, they are coming out of that as well. They are wanting the opportunity to have true love. I mean, you're not saying you can't learn we can all learn to love somebody i mean come on now seriously we can really all come to learn somebody to love somebody but even here in america those marriages where you know you got pregnant too young so your parents forced you guys to get married or you guys were a part of the church so the church did it yada 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 you know one person had the 820 credit score and she didn't want to be alone, so she done picked him up and dusted him off. <laughs> okay, let me stop. But you know what I'm saying. Those things, those things are crumbling. Marriages that are were not together for um, pure love. And not saying all marriages are going to stay together, but the ones that were for a reason and a purpose, those are getting um, exposed. Those are crumbling. Those are, those are, um, that's going to be a tower because that's going to be those types of uh, divorces. Some people will go as far as getting divorced and still live under the same roof because they really care what other people think. And they don't even got any kids in the house. I mean, it's one thing like, oh, you know, we got to stay together for the kids. No, listen, don't stay together for no kids if y'all don't like each other. The kids pick up energy and frequency way better than us. I'm going to tell you that right now. People really underestimate children. You need to look at a child, see how a child interacts, and see how a child recovers, and, you, and see how a child plays with other children. They don't have... The prejudices that we have. They don't have those stipulations and stuff. So if two people are fighting under the same roof. If mommy's going to be happy with somebody else. Trust me. That child wants mommy happy <laughs> with somebody else. And the same goes for daddy. Right? My family taught me toxic behavior I thought was normal. That goes back to that healing of that inner child. And wanting to speak the truth that. There are individuals that have had things, toxic things, toxic behaviors have happened to them. They are wanting closure. They, 
They are just wanting to speak their truth about what this has done to them so you can move forward and then you can heal. All right. I love how smart you are. It's so sexy to me. So listen, if you thought that, you know, men or women would just love you because of your body, because you got a big wang wang or, you know, just off of the physical, you know, people will love you for your intellect, you know, so that self love really needs is really happening. It is really, really, really happening. You know, forget the Nicki Minaj and forget the Cardi B. Those are entertainers. They, they're doing what they need to do. We really need to really um, pull back. You know, some you can't really hide these things from children. The internet, it's, it's a wrap. Um, but it's what you do in, at home and you're teaching your children about their body and how to speak up for themselves and the, the intellect and how intelligent they are it is way more attractive. All right. I am almost done. It says you are about to get that new job and move out of state. Update your resume. All right. So that's confirmation for somebody. Good luck. Manifest that. Matter of fact, see yourself already with that job. See yourself already sitting at that desk. See yourself with how... Um, the route you would take to that job, okay? Just already embody that you are already um, in that energy and you already, you already have that job. A fake friend told lies about you behind your back, okay? Well, we're going to have a lot of those, especially during the time of awakening and finding yourself and choosing yourself. People are going to talk about you. That's their business, not your business. Keep it, keep it fucking moving. Oops, excuse me. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Study, research, build your knowledge, redo your home and cleanse your space. So the cleansing does need to happen. You know, dust things down, throw things away that you just don't need. Clear your space out, especially for new things to come in. This is advice for my own self. I will look back at this and take anything from this and uh, take my own advice. But I do love studying. I, I do love researching. Again, you want to uh, start coding things, things that are subliminal. You know, you want to um, break words down. You can break down and Google the etymology of what a word is and then... Um, Write those down. And, and when you see what the inside word for that is, a lot of words are spells. I mean, when we started school, it was spelling. When we had to learn cursive. Okay. Look at what these words really, really was, you know. And then, you know, they, they, they taught us their ways and got us out of our own, you know, cultures. Okay. So... Study what your bloodline is. My bloodline is of healers, medicine, men, medicine, women, shamans, the American Indians in my, in my, my bloodline, um, the herbalist that knew how to heal with herbs. Okay. So, um, build your knowledge, build who you are from your own bloodline, you know, it's, it's sad when, um, you know, you want to look to others for others to tell you who you are. No one has to validate who you are when you tap into who your ancestors are and you start with your ancestors, okay? Um, three crystals came out. I am, um, you know what? Why not? Somebody might need this. You If you're warning or... or Feel guided to work with a crystal, have a crystal, um, want more information about crystals. You know, everybody is this crystal, crystal. You know, you can have all the crystals in the world. If you're not doing the shadow work and you're not doing that inner work and healing that inner child, ain't no crystal or sage or candle. It's not, it's buffoonery. It's not, it's whack. It's not going to do anything for you. Okay. Anyway. So clear quartz, so I wrote out with some crystals, is the master healer, amplifies 
energy by ab absorbing, storing, releasing, and regulating it. Physically helps stimulate the immune system and balance your body. All right? So it also is a conductor of it can take on the form of any other crystal as well. So if you only have a clear quartz, but you need it to do the um, attributes of what a rose quartz does, it can, okay? You call that in. Then we have black tourmaline. I wrote this out. Protection, root chakra. That That's where we started. I mean, I can't make this up. Um, it's a powerful grounding, self-confidence, for a uh, clearer, more objective view of the world and soothes panic attacks. Okay, so go get you a black tourmaline. Um, really is really, really good for protection, especially during this um, time. The veil is very thin during October for, for the spiritual round. We are approaching Halloween. Halloween is in October for a reason. Y'all might want to look up with the etymology of that is a hey, let me let me know what y'all find out and get a little spooky with it right mm. anyway amethyst i love amethyst it's the purple okay so it's a natural tranquilizer it relieves stress strain soothes irritability balances mood swings dispels anger rage Fear, anxiety, heals sadness and grief and, and dissolves negativity, activates spiritual awareness, opens intuition, enhances psychic abilities. So like I was saying, when you are first starting the healing, okay, because I have to assume um, some new awakening people will be guided to this or some individuals who have already been on this path and have been healing like me for the, the last uh, 15 years, right? Maybe if not more. Even when I was younger, I was always guided to read self-help books. My mom had literally like a, a, the house was like a hoarder of books, like a library of any book, you know, I had access to, okay? Um, so with that sadness and with that grief, when 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 you let that ego down and you surrender to, to the most high and you allow those things that have happened to you and, and and we have to start with that inner child you know you 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 want to protect that inner child at all costs you know and and you want to rebuild and have that relationship you know society is like grow up grow up grow up stop stop being a child no Tap back into your imagination. Tap back into what was it that made you happy as a child? What was it that you was passionate about when you were younger? What did you say you wanted to be when you when you, when you wanted to grow up, right? All right, so Amethyst is going to help with that. And oh, just because I, uh, I don't know how long this video is. This is really going to take a, a long time to um, upload. Because your girl needs a faster Wi-Fi. Right? And, all right. We're going to throw some names out there. These names can be karmics. These could be um, individuals that's coming into your life uh, to assist you. These, uh, you know, these could be soulmates. These could be, um, you know, and soulmates are sometimes people that you're not with for a lifetime. You know, it is for a season, you know, we really got to start releasing that, that trauma bond, you know, sometimes you're with people to learn something and then, uh, you keep, you keep moving. First card on the bottom of the deck, it says sky. It's a beautiful high frequency name. A twin. <laughs> so. Um, these names could be people that are blocking you, or you could be meeting in the near future. All right. So we just have some names come out and I'm just going to just say them really quickly. Boyd, 
could be a karmic, could be somebody that's holding people back, holding people down. This could be you, this could be them. Um, Eartha, Harry, Summer, cute name, Howie, Deborah, Tim, Mary, one of my spirit guides. I have three women spirit guides and I have four men. One of the women, her name is Mary. Rose, Sheila, Peter, and Jacob. Guys, I really hope you got something out of this reading. And, you know, we'll just be, uh, begin to do this healing together. Enjoy the journey. Be in the present. It is a gift. Just, you know, even with the holidays coming up, you don't have to have that you know, release all, release all of that. Just be like the flow of water and enjoy what you have now. Be in the frequency of what you are already manifesting and just, you know, live your life to its fullest. You know, be in the balance when it's time to relax and it's time to rest, rest. When it's time to celebrate, listen, celebrate, turn up. When it's time to work hard, Work hard, put your energy into what you need to put your energy put your energy into. But at the end of the day, what you need to be doing is doing it for your well-being, for your own peace and your own harmony, you know, and just being a, a frequency of unconditional love for all sentient beings. Give love and light to Mother Gaia, to this earth. We are a visitor on her planet. Let's Let's big up to her, you know what I'm saying? Let's big up to the Divine Mother has awakening at this time. And then two, I see you on the next video when I am guided. Peace and love, guys. Till next time.